Hi and welcome to Themic. In this video, we will talk about how we could experimentally estimate damping. Interesting, isn't it? In this case, we will use a method based on the frequency response function. By the end of this video, you will know the procedure and elements needed to set up your own experiment and start determining damping everywhere. Well, not everywhere. Before we dip into the interesting part, we need to remember a few concepts related to damping. If you haven't seen our video on damping, I invite you to check out the link. We learned that to estimate damping, we can either use the rule of thumb values for some specific cases, or we could estimate this damping experimentally. In the latter case, we learned about estimating damping using logarithmic decrement from the system response. So what's next? Well, let's get our heads out of the equations and formulae for now. We are going to look at the experimental setup and the type of equipment necessary to estimate damping. To start, let's consider a spring mass damper system. To estimate damping, we need various measurement devices. Firstly, we need an excitation device, something to induce the vibration in the system. This device should also be capable of measuring the actual excitation force that is being applied to the object. An example of such device could be an impulse hammer, which records the striking excitation force. Secondly, we need an instrument to measure the vibration in the system, especially that generated due to excitation. For example, an accelerometer. In this method, both the response curve from the accelerometer and the excitation force from the impact hammer are recorded simultaneously. Both signals, acceleration and excitation force, will go to a signal analyzer, which in turn will generate something called a frequency response function. Well, what is that? Theoretically, the frequency response function is explained with the help of something called transfer function from the control engineering field. In simple terms, for a mechanical system, the frequency response function is the ratio of the output response to the input force. That is, the ratio of what is measured by the accelerometer to what is measured by the hammer. In our case, both signals are represented in the frequency domain, and for the single degree of freedom system, the theoretical equation for this transfer function is h omega equals x omega divided by f omega equals 1 divided by minus omega square m plus i omega c plus k. Now, sorry for bringing back the equations, but I promise that this is the only one we need here. Now focus on the denominator. What does it tell you? That the ratio will be a complex number having real and imaginary parts. Also, as mentioned before, the frequency response function is a function of the excitation frequency omega. Now remember, the C is the damping in the system, and that is what we are going to estimate from the experiment. Let's dive back into the experimental results. The frequency response function for a single degree of freedom system, the one we got from the signal analyzer above, will look something like the black curve below. On one hand, we have the theoretical equation for a frequency response function, having an unknown parameter c. And on the other hand, we have a curve for the frequency response function from the experimental setup, which has some damping. Hmm, if only we had some tools to find c from the curve. Guess what? We do. We can use any sort of curve fitting tool for this situation, such as least squares, f min search, genetic algorithm, and so on. Combining the curve fitting technique with the available graph, we can find the best fit parameter which satisfies the theoretical equation. And that particular best fit value that we get from the parameter C will be the actual damping for the experimental system. Awesome, isn't it? In this chapter, we learned how to set up an experimental unit to use the frequency response function to obtain the damping of a single degree of freedom system. You know now that this experiment consists of matching the theoretical formulation for damping with the results obtained from the experiment. Thanks for joining us in the interesting world of dynamics, and see you soon!